can you use a hairdryer to shrink tubing on electrical wire? Well, in this video, you'll see that the answer is pretty much yes. Now, I would normally start by grabbing a heat gun if I'm going to go heat shrink some wire. Uh, but it turns out that if you're a, a casual user, DIY, you've just got a few home projects you want to clean up some wire, a hairdryer will work just fine. Let me show you. I've got a setup here. I'm going to log the temperature while I'm doing this just so I can see uh, how hot it gets. If you're interested in more about the instrumentation, there's a follow-on video after this. That link is going to be in the details section. Uh, but for this, I've just got you know standard uh, electrical shrink wrap like you would get off of Amazon, one of these plastic kits. Got that over some wire. And I've got my hairdryer. So I'm going to set it on hot and high and see what happens. It's already starting to shrink. I'm holding it pretty close. And this is a, I think this is a 1500 watt hair dryer. It's kind of old, so the markings are, are all scuffed off. Uh, but I'm, I'm pulling about 13 amps on my circuit here. I'll do a little bit more here on that end so I can cinch it up. There we go. All right, pretty good job. And it, it probably takes a little bit longer. It does take longer than a, a heat gun would work. Uh, but if you're just doing, like I said, the casual DIY project, uh, I think that worked just fine. And with, you know, if you're a beginner and you haven't used a heat gun a whole lot, and you hold it too close, you can actually start melting the insulation. So in some ways, a hairdryer is really good for, for this heat shrink. Uh, and just as a side note, got up to about 130 degrees C and pulled about 13 amps on that hairdryer. So can you use a hairdryer for heat shrinking electrical wire tubing? Yes, you can. Thanks for watching the video.